a really sort of broad 600 millimeter wide plinth wall using lime mortar rather than cement so it's natural lime called NHL. The stones come from Tricarn Quarry just over the border in Cornwall. It's not entirely local but it's not from Spain or anything so I was pleased with that. A friend of mine is going to build the cob on top of that, about two meters worth of cob. Um, pretty strong oval structure really. The broad intentions for the building were basically that you know this being an, a new and natural burial ground they need because of the exposure of the site it's also it's a beautiful site but it's also you know panoramic view means um, you know a lot of weather they need a shelter they needed some kind of shelter to be up here this was suggested a few years ago by a trustee at a, at a meeting when she just suddenly towards the end of the meeting said what about a natural burial ground at Sharpham and I was just thought, yes, that makes so much sense. It's just right for Sharpham. We realised the import of, of a building like this, you know, the fact that people are going to come here to bury their loved ones, and uh, there needs to be a building here that reflects the importance of that. We decided on this site because you arrive on the south side, there's, there was room, there's good access from the road, it was close to Totnes, and you could arrive on this side, get parked, come out, you'll go through the wood here and then into the building and you're going to have a big opening that's framed and it just, I hope, if, the, if the, the plan works out it'll be absolutely perfect with sky and meadow and then the great view with the river in it below. This particular build is completely natural. So the footings are just stones um, and then actually you've got a natural plinth wall and then you've got the subsoil from the, the, from the earth going on top and then you've got wood as, the, as your roof and it's like a grass roof, I mean it's so natural, it's amazing. We um, analyse the soil to make sure it's um, got enough clay content um, and then I have um, a digger that comes on site and he uh, makes a pit um, a big hole basically, six foot by four foot and four foot deep, and that's like a mixing bowl. And um, he then puts the subsoil into the pit, and uh, we uh, wet the subsoil down. He mixes it, and then we put straw in there. And the straw gives it tensile strength. And that mixture is called cob, and then we put it straight onto the wall. We um, stand on the wall with our pitchforks and literally tread it down. We're really pleased with the builders we've got and the design of the building. It's stone, it's cob, uh, with cob made with earth dug out of Sharpham, uh, out of a field just down the road. It's wood, um, most of the larch is, is cut on the estate and, and lugged up here, so it's, it's a real handmade building. Again, completely in tune with our, with our ethos and with what we stand for. In one day, we do about two feet of uh, two foot of cob, and that's a bit. That's what we call a, a one cob lift in one day. It all depends on the weather, um, but after about three or four days, when the cob's got a bit harder and firmer, then we pair the cob and cut it. And literally, um, we use uh, spades to cut it from the top of the wall down and mattocks if you want to do it on on hip height and cut the cob. It's, it's not like a, a fashionable thing that we're using with cob. We know it's a building material that will last for centuries. The Sharpham Trust is uh, a land-based charity. It's got about 550 acres of uh, wonderful land in South Devon, um, just outside Totnes on the River Dart. It's got the acreage, it's also got one fantastic big Georgian mansion, a very beautiful and special house. We are here principally an educational charity that uh, encourages people to find that connection or that reconnection with the natural world. The building, because of its very nature, i.e. the elliptical shape, has been somewhat challenging to kind of um, bring into reality.
And so mimicking the, the size and the scale of the uh, stairwell. It's got such a, a beautiful shaped inner hall, the big hall at Sharpham. Um, there's a number of places we've tried to replicate that across the estate and um, I was very keen that we recreated in a sense that wonderful shape here where you have an outer hall and then you have that fantastic structure inside that, that comes through as a, as a feeling of almost shock, it's so beautiful. That was a challenge um, and we got over it by using some really cool uh, archaic simple means, you know, by um, finding out how people used to get those shapes using bits of string and nails and stuff like that. Very, very simple. And so that was really nice to, 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 to create that shape using bits of old rope, <laughs> which is really great. The roof itself uh, will be um, a turf roof, um, which I really, really love because um, at some point, once it's matured, it will actually resemble a burial mound itself. Um, so that kind of seems really fitting with the, the place and, and, and uh, what the building's actually being used for. We were left with the, the bare cob walls and we put a wooden wall plate on um, that goes all the way around the, uh, around the wall head. And then we laid the timbers on and marked them from there, really, um, using the building as a reference point. In, in this manner of construction, it's fairly simple. But I don't think that uh, you know, detracts from, from uh, its beauty overall. We're here for all people, to all undertakers. It's open to those people who may not want to use undertakers. It's open to everybody of any faith um, or of none. Here we're here really for everybody. It's amazing that you can see uh, the dark, the river, the sea and Hay Tor all from the same kind of vantage point. You've got clouds of starlings, in fact I can see just behind you, clouds of starlings that fly over and wheel about and there's birds of prey here and you know, you, you sort of feel like there's, there's a large amount of nature around you and an incredible view, a lot of sky as well. It's, it's a beautiful place. It's probably the best site I'll probably ever work in. It's 360 degrees, stunning views of looking at the whole of South Devon and the sea and the River Dart. And when you just go further down the hill and look up to the building that we've done, looking at it, it's just completely natural material, it's fantastic.